and good morning and welcome to our first episode of Foundation Kids Art Corner on the Moo. This morning I'm coming to you from the Walton's house and I have our special guest Caleb Walton. Come on out. Hi. How are you doing this morning Caleb? Good. Good. How old are you Caleb? Ten. Ten. And so what grade are you going into in the fall? Fifth. Fifth grade. So top dog of the school, right? You're going to run the school, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Now Caleb, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to cook and bake and play baseball. Play baseball, right? Which is, you're pretty good at baseball, I'd say. Um, now, are we playing baseball today or are we baking? I think we're baking. I think we're baking. <laughs> I'm sure. Now, you could throw these, for sure. I don't know. But I think we're going to bake. But before we start baking, what do we need to do? Uh, before you start baking, go to your oven and preheat it to 375 degrees. All right, so why don't you go ahead and do that? All right, perfect. Now, before we start touching all of our food, what do we need to do? Wash our hands. Wash our hands. All right, we'll be back. Woo, now we have our hands all clean. Yep. What do we need to do? So we preheated the oven. All right, we yes. got it warming up to 375 degrees. What's our next step? Now we need to grab our pans. Okay. And lightly grease it with butter. With butter. Or whatever spray on which you're using vegan butter this morning, right, Kayla? Yes, ma'am. So we have food allergies, so we have to use special butter. Right. And so, so if I were to make this with vegan butter, just like you, um, and the gluten-free oats and the gluten-free flour, it'd be gluten-free and dairy-free, right? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. What are we making this morning? I don't think we've said that yet. This morning we are making apple crisp. Apple crisp. Mm. Have you made this before? Yes. This is one of my famous dishes. Oh, famous. Kayla Walton original. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Isn't that perfect? I'll take that over to the sink. What's the next step? The next step is to cut the apples. Well, first, you gotta take the stems off. All right. What do we do the apples before we? Uh, we wash the apples before we. Right. So you should definitely wash your apples. All right. But you're gonna start cutting. I'll de stem them. Oh, cutting apples is hard. These apples are tough. All right, so now our apples are all cut up, right? Mm -hmm. What do we do next? Now we grab the pan that we just lightly greased, Boom. buttered, and now we take the apples and we put them in the bowl. Okay. okay. So now that we have the apples in the pan. We're gonna put this off to the side for right now, right? Yep. And now we are going to so now we are going to get a our big measuring bowl. All right, so we got our bowl and all of our dry ingredients and we're ready to start mixing them in the bowl. What's the first one? The first one we do is we add the brown sugar. All right, and that's a three-fourths cup of brown sugar. Okay, now we add the flour. Which is a half cup, and this is all-purpose gluten-free flour. And now we add the oats. Right, which is half a cup of gluten-free oats. And then we grab the butter. The butter. It, yeah, wait, no. You want to do the cinnamon? Yeah. So the one cinnamon. teaspoon. One teaspoon. These are fancy. Yeah, here. One teaspoon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, that's one teaspoon. One generous teaspoon. Of cinnamon. <laughs> I'll take this. Okay. Now we are going to grab the butter. The butter, and this is a third cup of butter softened, right? So it's non been sitting out. Dairy butter, right? Vegan. Vegan butter, which I love. So if you have any allergies or anything like that, this is a perfect dessert for you. But of course, you can always make it with regular. Yeah, regular butter, and regular, regular flour. flour. Okay, All so right. now if you don't have a, a pastry, pastry mixer, then you grab just a regular old fork and then you go and start mixing. Now we are going to grab it because this is all done stirring. Okay, now we are going to add the Oh, 
And um. now, your tape fork can try to get all of that. Right. Now you can do this with your hands too, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. You can kind of smush it around. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna cover everything. This smells really good. I know it's. I, I can't wait to eat it. No, and what's really cool is that when you cook it, like the peels come off, and it gives you like a good crunch in it. Ooh, it's gonna be good. I like this. I can't wait for you guys to make this at home too, and tell us how it goes. Comment for us real quick uh, what your favorite dessert is. Maybe this will be your new favorite dessert. All right, All right. What's the next step? We're going to put this in the oven, and we'll see. You later. All right, so while we wait for that to bake, I know Emmy Wallen has something she wants to teach us. Let's go outside and check on that. So I'm outside here with Emmy. Emmy, how old are you? I'm seven, years, seven and a half years old. Seven and a half years old. Don't forget that half, it's very important. What grade are you going into in the fall? Second. Second grade. Are you nervous? Nope. Are you scared? Nope. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, she's like, I'm ready to conquer second grade. Now, I was told that you have a really cool talent, something you're really good at. What are you really good at? Riding a bike. Riding a bike. In fact, your dad told me that you were so ready to ride your bike without training wheels that you started taking them off by yourself. You're just like ready to go. Let me let me fly, right? All right now, when you ride a bike, what are some important things that you need to have? Um, helmet, knee pads, um, elbow pads, um, tennis shoes. Right. Those are all important things to keep you safe, right? So that way, if you're especially if you're learning how to ride a bike, that you don't fall and hurt yourself, yeah. right? But now that you're a pro, what do you typically wear when you get on your bike? I usually wear. Um, Tennis shoes. shoes, perfect. And now you're gonna show me step by step how to ride a bike today. But don't we know someone that doesn't know how to ride a bike? Yeah. Wouldn't it be cooler if we taught them how to ride a bike? Yeah. Since I already know how to ride a bike. Who's that person? My dad. Right, your dad. Jason, come on up. <laughs> now, Jason, how old are you? 37. 37. Do you know how to ride a bike? No. And you're not doing this just for the camera, right? You really don't know how to ride a bike. I really don't know. All right, and so your daughter, Emmy, who's seven and a half, is gonna teach you today how to ride a bike. Yep. How do you feel about that? Uh, kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all a little nervous, which is why we're doing it on the grass. We don't wanna hurt Jason for sure. So we'll be teaching Jason how to ride a bike. You ready? All right, let's get suited up. Okay, so now you're gonna try to put your feet on the pedals. Both feet or just one? One. All right, so you wanna start with one on the pedal. On the pedal and then kick off. And then get the other one up to that pedal. He's right. doing it! <laughs> Almost! So, you need what foot you're gonna take off with? My right foot. Okay, then I'm gonna take off with my left foot. Alright. When I start going, I want you to try and follow me. <laughs> nope. Do you know how you're leaning? Yes. Don't do that. That's how I learn. That's how. So just don't do it. Got don't it. do it. Believe in yourself. Oh. Okay. All right. Give it a shot. <laughs> So Jason, you did a great job for not knowing how to ride a bike. I think you did a great job. What do you think, Emmy? Yep. Yeah, and so we're gonna keep practicing. Maybe by the end of summer, we'll get to see Jason ride a bike all by himself. You never know. Yeah. I think that apple crisp is ready though. What do you think? I think I can smell it. Let's go inside and check on it. Whoo, man, teaching Jason how to ride a bike has made me hungry. And it smells so good in here, Caleb. You think it's done? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's get it out of the oven. Oh, it looks yummy. Mmm. 
That is a delicious apple crisp. All right, I know my score. Do you know your score? Do you know your score? And we should have we could we should have got scorecards. I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. Emmy. Um, I'm gonna give it. Ten out of ten, Jason. Ten. I was I was gonna go nine, but I'll go ten. Ten out of ten. You're going to Hollywood. Woo! Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Foundation Kids Art Corner on the go. Uh, this morning I had a lot of fun with Caleb and Emmy teaching me how to cook and how to ride a bike. If you have a special talent or a fun hobby that you would like to teach me and other kids, let me know. You can email me at robin at foundationnewton.com um, and I would love to come to your house and videotape you doing something super cool. That's it for today. See you next time.